All right, guys, a little venture time today. All right, we are right now hiking up Table Rock, North Carolina. Just parked. We're heading for Hawks, the infamous Hawks Bill that keeps kicking my butt. We're gonna try to summit it today. We came in from the other side. It's a bit of a drive. We got a little uphill climbing to do here. So, get back with you. I'll tell you this, Limo Gorge never disappoints, man. You're just walking around with that as your background. That ain't photoshopped in, folks. That's legit. We are climbing up there. Whew. Bit of a climb. See, we are on the opposite side of Linville Gorge. That's the chimneys over there. You can see chimneys. Table Rock. Further down is Hawk's Bill. Cracking the ice over here. Three deep. It's probably got really cold up here. It got in the, way down to negatives up here. So we still got a lot of ice on this trail from that crazy freeze we had. See this out there? Drinking this. Try to zoom in. You can see this little right up there is a hotel. That's Sugar Mountain. So you got Sugar Mountain, and that's Grandfather Mountain. Right beyond those little stick trees there. You zoom around you're in the Linville Gorge. I'm staying on the edge. And over there, a big mountain range. Off in the distance is Mount Mitchell. Black Balsam Ridge. John is determined to climb into a cave. Look, I saw it. It looked interesting. Oh, There's a bear in there. Go ahead. Go it, wake up the bear. Is it not adventure time? It is. Go adventure. It's a hell of a papa bear. Papa bear? Where do you think we are? In the Smoky Mountains. John, there's bears. I'm looking for Smoky. Okay, I'll go find them. Smokey. <laughs> you in there, buddy? Here, Mr. Bear. Got oh, some no. berries for you. No, there's nothing in here. It comes to uh, stop. Hey. You can climb all the way up in there and sleep. Yeah, there. I know you could. It's actually pretty roomy over there. It'd probably be kind of gross. Getting near the top of Table Rock here. You can see the Linville River way down there. I can see it's Highway 105 on that ridge. Let's see if we can get Jonathan coming up here. Two hours later. And this is the most beautiful overlook. This one's pretty nice. I got to another one. I already got to the peak. Yeah. On the other side. I don't know, it took you so long. We'll check it on the way back. Let's hit this one. All right, there's the marker. I want a parachute off of this. Top of uh, Table Rock. It's official. You can put a parachute on Dwayne and throw him over. Yeah. How many rocks get to experience this many views? All the rocks up here? No, they've experienced this view. Yeah, it gets a little boring after a while. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little Dwayne. It's, seen, it's probably seen the Table Rock in South Carolina, now Table Rock in North. That's true. I'd say this is a much better view. Yeah. Well, the one in South Carolina is pretty good too. Yeah. It's got a big, that big open rock face is kind of nice. 
after all this, I still can't get to this freaking Hawksbill Mountain. It's right there. <laughs> but there's no trail to get over there. The only trail leading to it comes down from this area down here. There's a trail coming up. But that's the trail I was trying to get to last time and I couldn't get to it. All right, let's find this brown mountain. We're gonna look at this brown mountain tonight because there's these brown mountain lights that are kind of like a paranormal thing to happen out here every once in a while. It's like a Skinwalker Ranch thing. So we're gonna try to walk the Wiseman's view where we can see these brown lights sometimes. It's a 1.2 mile hike there and back. So we got 2.4 miles of hiking in the dark. Blue lights. Blue lights. But it's, they're called the brown mountain lights. Uh, you hear that? Behind us. So, so you guys see where we're at. Peace God. Right over to Wyson's view. Where these brown night lights can supposedly be seen. I doubt you guys can see any of this. So we have Hawksbill over here. Table Rock, which we climbed today, it's right there. Jonathan, there's right there. So now you can see him now. But we are up in Wiseman's uh, view here. It is. Yeah, look at that. I'm telling you. Yeah, you see, there's another star just appear next to it. And it's not flashing like a plane. Getting dimmer. Let's see if it vanishes again. See that? It's like jumping up and down. See that? Oh, yeah. It's like going up and down a bit. Maybe it's a plane. It's not, it doesn't have any blinking lights on it, though. Oh, there's a blinking light on Oh, there. I see it on the back. Okay. Now I can see a blinking light. I'm pretty sure it's a plane. Good morning, everyone. We're here at Wiseman's view in the morning time. A little different than nighttime. As y'all can see, here is uh, Table Rock over here. That's the one we climbed yesterday. We climbed to the top of that. And there's the elusive hawk's bill that I can't seem to find a way to get to the top of, which I know you can climb to it, though. Uh, but you can see the clouds rolling over all the mountains back there. I have some better close-up pictures I work on. Slept okay. Uh, as good as you can for camping kind of stuff. A couple of things I need to do to fix it up a little better, even and out the back. But we're going to hightail it out of here, hit up some Waffle House, awful house, and then get home. All right, this section 105 gets a little gnarly, which is rare for this highway. I haven't fixed it in a while. I saw some guys lifting some tires here yesterday. They really it out bad. So test your articulation here. Tires I've ever spin. Right. To Waffle House. 